Welcome to the SEO Agency Knowledge Channel. Welcome back to our channel. On our channel, we share valuable insights and industry tips and tricks to help you succeed in building strong client relationships. In today's video, we'll discuss the essential steps to building trust with your clients with five to-dos and five not-to-dos. I'm Ian Dawson, the Chief Operating Officer here at Direction.com. Let's dive right in. All right, everyone, to-do number one. It's very important to establish open lines of communication. Communication is honestly key in any successful relationship, and the same holds true for client relationships. Make sure you establish these open lines of communication with your clients right from the start. This ensures that you can promptly address their concerns and respond to their needs. To do number two, it's important to set clear expectations. This builds trust, and it's crucial to be transparent about the services you provide and how the process will work. Be clear and upfront with communication to eliminate misunderstandings and establish a solid foundation for trust. To do number three, be responsive. When a client reaches out to you, it's essential to respond promptly. This shows that you value their time and their business. Timely responses make clients feel important and also build trust. To do number four, provide regular updates. Keeping clients informed about the status of their project or service is crucial. Regular updates not only build trust, but also prevent uncertainty and reinforce your commitment to their success. To do number five, be proactive. Don't wait for your clients to reach out to you. Take the initiative to check in, provide updates, or offer support. Being proactive demonstrates your dedication to their satisfaction and strengthens the trust they have in your services. All right, everyone, now that we've discussed the to-dos, we're gonna discuss the not-to-dos. Do not do number one. Don't be dismissive. It's crucial to take your client's concerns seriously, even if you disagree. Remember, their perspective is valuable, and by actively listening and addressing their concerns, you can strengthen this trust between you. Do not do number two. Avoid unprofessional language, getting too personal or making inappropriate jokes. Professionalism sets the tone for a respectful and trustworthy relationship with your clients. Not to do number three. Avoid making assumptions. Every client is unique and their needs may vary. Instead of assuming, ask questions and actively listen to the responses. This not only helps you understand their expectations better, but also shows that you genuinely care about meeting their specific needs. All right, everyone, not to do number four. Don't get defensive. When a client raises a concern or a criticism, it's essential to remain calm and open-minded. Instead of taking it personally, view it as an opportunity for growth and improvement. Constructively use the feedback to enhance your service and show your clients that their feedback matters. All right guys, not to do number five, don't overpromise. It's better to underpromise and overdeliver than to make promises you can't keep. Be realistic about what you can deliver within an agreed upon time frame. Overpromising may lead to disappointment and erode the trust you've worked so hard to build. All right, by following these to do's and avoiding the do not do's, you'll be well on your way to building trust with your clients. Remember, trust is the foundation of a successful and long lasting relationship. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video on building trust with clients. I hope that you have found these tips helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.